Hi, this side Pooja from Motionalistic. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this animation. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with creating a HD composition. And let's create a solid background. Add a gradient ramp to it. I'll be giving it a sort of red and a black color. and change it to radial ramp and adjust it a little bit let's create a circle shift the anchor point of the circle towards the right corner let's add a gradient ramp to it Let's rename our shape layer. Let's animate our circle. So I want to animate the scaling property of the circle. So I'll put a keyframe on it. And after 40 frames, I'll change the values to negative. So this is how it will look like. Now let's add just the graph a little bit. this looks nice uh, let's now add our text let's adjust it a little bit give any color as of now doesn't matter uh, I'll be giving it a subtle animation so let's start with giving it um, opacity animator playing with playing a little bit with its feature After 50 frames, um, put a keyframe. And also, let's add a scale property to it. And let's also add a tracking animator to it. Okay, this looks decent. Now let's create a small circle. Add the same gradient to it as well. And let's animate. And give it a little bit of animation. Okay, so I'll give it a scaling. And... Then I'll add a position to it. Um, what I want is the circle to, re uh, to move around my text. Now select both of our shape layer and pre-compose it. And let's change its name to circle mat. Copy the circle mat and Place it above our text layer and change track mat of our text layer to alpha. So this is what it will look like. Let's change the color. Again copy both the layers and now change the track mat from alpha mat to inverted alpha mat. And this, this is the final result that we'll achieve. So this was the main functional part of our video. Now let's move one more step. Let's add some properties to it. I'll be adding drop shadow and um, I'll be playing with some of the 
features So this is how it will look. Let's create one more circle just to give sort of a complete effect. We'll be doing the same, uh, we'll be giving it the same colors. and playing with the position a little bit so that it comes very smoothly into the so that it comes very smoothly into the uh, composition and now the last part just to add a little bit more crisp to it let's add a texture so what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a shape a random shape and then I'll add roughen edges to it and um, twitching it a little bit okay uh, this looks nice and I'll change the mode to soft light and this is how it will uh, look um, and I'll be copy I'll copy and paste the same texture texture and give it a black color and um, reducing the transparency a bit okay And we are done. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. You can also follow me on Instagram to watch some of my other stuff. Thank you.